Korean quilt. Anna, I couldn't find the little boy's room. Uh, maybe that's because you should be looking for the big ajashi room. Come on, I'm serious. I really need to go to the restroom. All right, all right, calm down. It's on your right just over there. 오른쪽에 있어요. 오른쪽에 있어요. And what, pray tell, does this mean? It's on the right. Well, why didn't you just say so in the first place? Okay, Richard, today we'll be dealing with directions, something that is extremely useful in getting around Korea. Now, the first thing we should know is that there is a pure Korean pair of words for left and right and a Chinese-derived pair. Today, we'll be looking at the pure Korean. That's right. And one main difference between this left and right uh, is the use of the word jok, which means direction, and is included with the terms left and right. Therefore, right becomes orun jok, right direction, and left becomes wen jok, left direction. Perfect. Okay, so here, right, as in on your right-hand side, becomes orun jok, and left, as in on your left-hand side, becomes wen jok. Now, getting back to our key expression for today, we had something uh, is on the left or right-hand side. So, we'll start with the right and do it slowly. 오른쪽에 있어요. Right, it's on the right or it's on the right-hand side. 오른쪽에 있어요. And a little quicker, 오른쪽에 있어요. It's on the right, 오른쪽에 있어요. And what about the opposite side, Anna? Uh, duh. Richard, it's on the left. Oh, right. Okay, and in Korean, it's 왼쪽에 있어요. Right, it's on the left, 왼쪽에 있어요. Okay, more naturally, 왼쪽에 있어요. 왼쪽에 있어요. And that's it for us. We'll be back tomorrow with lots more, though, on Korean Quill. Bye.